All right, so what's good, YouTube? This is Lobo TV back with another video. I know it's been a little minute. Today, we're doing a story time because I'm going to start allocating my story times on my main channel, Lobo L0B0 and Lobo TV, L0B0 TV. So if you haven't, go subscribe to both of those. I'll put the links in the description. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe to the video too. But today's story is about the time I regretted eating Chinese food from the mall. So I was in high school, and during this time, whenever me and my homies would hang out, if we just found a spot to hang out at, it usually be the mall. We'd go there, you know, walk around, bullshit, go to Chick-fil-A, go to random stores and shit, of course, you know, buy some shit here and there, just go to go to look at some shit. We always run to other people we knew from, say, other schools and all that. It's just, you know, typical high school life. And usually when we get food, it will be Chick-fil-A. I don't fuck with Chick-fil-A. I would go anywhere else but Chick-fil-A. I get they, uh, what is it? They eliminated their sweet tea. One of them that actually do be hidden. But as far as their food, I wasn't crazy about their food. So I decided to go to the other side of the mall where they got like the Chinese food, Chinese food. So we in line, I tell them what I want to get. I want to get the rice with the egg rolls and the uh, chicken. And then my homie Derek goes, Oh, you getting that? And then he kind of chuckles when he says it. And I'm just like, what, what's wrong with that? Yeah, what, what's what's so funny about it? What, what's up with that? He goes, you'll find out in a little bit. I ain't think anything of it. So I scarfed this down like 10 minutes, quick as hell. I was hungry as fuck. So after we get done eating and we scarf down the food and all that, we go to Sears. This was back when Sears was kind of relevant, but they was like on their way out. It was like, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's like, all right, these motherfuckers about to, you know, be on their way. So we go upstairs to the second floor. It's around, what, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. Later on when the mall's about to close, there's really no one up there. And we're just looking at different games and stuff, going through the shows, 360, PS3, etc. And then I feel a rumble in my stomach. It felt like an earthquake was going down in my stomach. And I'm just like, oh Lord, what is going on? Is this what Derek was talking about? I'm pretty sure this is what Derek was talking about. So I try to ride it out. Usually I'll wait till I get home because we only live less than 10 minutes away from the mall. I like to wait till I get home and then I can go in a bathroom I'm at peace in, if you know what I'm saying. On this day, I could not wait. I don't think I can hold this. So I beeline straight to the bathroom, straight to the stall. And then less than a minute later, I hear my friends Jordan and Derek bust in the bathroom, not the stall, but the bathroom, laughing they ass off. And Derek's like, I told you so. And I'm just thinking like, dude, you could have told me this before I got the food or before I ate it. Shit, you could have told me this when I got to the crib. So when shit hits the fan, no pun intended, I be there. But now I'm in this motherfucking serious bathroom. Oh, it felt like I was in there for 30 whole minutes. It might have been maybe 10 at the most, but it felt like an eternity in this bathroom. So as I leave the bathroom, I'm thinking it's all good. It's over with, man. You know, we can just finish walking through Sears, whatever, and get the hell out of here. Cause uh, they were spending the night at my place after we left the mall. My mom was gonna come pick us up. And then they, we was all gonna spend the night or whatever like that and chill out, play video games. It's typical high school shit. So when my mom picks us up, I'm sitting in the car. And again, I said, this is less than 10 minutes. This is maybe a five to six minute drive home. This is not far at all. It's like down the street, boom, back. There you go, a couple lights in between. As soon as I sit in the car, my stomach starts to rumble again. Now I'm thinking, I just did what I had to do in the mall. This should be it. This should be the end of this disaster. No, as soon as I get home, I beeline straight to the bathroom again. And I'm in here for another, what feels like 30 minutes. But in reality, it was probably like 10. Shit, this time it was probably like 15, 15 minutes. Vent going crazy, man. That vent is on max. And even with this vent on max, I still hear Jordan and Derek laughing their ass off because they know what it is. And at that moment, I realized, don't ever get the Chinese food at a mall. I don't care how good it smells. 
I don't care how much you like egg rolls or shrimp fried rice or, or chicken fried rice, nothing. No, stay the fuck away from that shit. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Thank you for watching. We are out.